Hi everybody, now this is a bit of an unusual video because as you can see on the screen, I want you to close your eyes because in this video, we're gonna concentrate on trying to fine tune your hearing ability to distinguish between the different gun sounds that you'll hear on the Western Front maps in Hell Let Loose. And this applies to console and PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, be, I'm going to be playing the gun sounds of the most common weapons. And the idea is you have your eyes closed because I want you to be picturing lying in a ditch or crawling along and you hear a gun sound. And you've got friendly forces probably near you by you as well who are firing as well. And so you need to be able to distinguish between the sounds of their guns and sounds of the enemy guns so you know which direction the enemy are shooting you from. Now there's other visual cues as well. Obviously you can see which direction your friendlies are shooting at. You can look at their little icons above their heads and look for the dark ones. The dark ones are the people who have been shot. So generally that's towards the enemy as is also um, towards um, enemy uh, captured strong points as well. That's where, generally where they'd be coming from, but it can get very confusing. So make sure those eyes are closed. And without further ado, let's start with the Browning light machine gun. So this is the American belt fed gun. Um, and if we listen to it, you'll see it has a distinctive slower fire rate than the German MG 34. Okay, so keep those eyes shut. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to play the MG34. So this is the German equivalent, the light machine gun. Now you'll notice this one fires much, much faster. So if you hear this and you're a German, that's good. If you hear this and you're an ally, then oh, you better keep that head down. Okay, hopefully now you'll have a better idea of what the LMGs. Let's move on to um, the um, semi-automatic rifles and automatic rifles. So, so what we're going to play first is the M1918 M1918 A2 Bar. So this is an American weapon. So again, if you're American and you hear this, it's good. If you hear this as a German, there's enemies over there. Okay, now 
let's kind of have the German equivalent, the STG-44, the forerunner of the world's more modern assault rifles. Again, if you're a German and you hear this, okay, so that's friendly, so remember, keep your eyes closed. If you're American and you hear this, from that direction, that is where some of the enemies will be, the STG-44. Right, moving on. Let's go to the German Gewehr 43. So this is a semi-automatic, I guess it would be a carbine. So again, if you're a German and you hear this, they're friendly. If you're an American and you hear this, this is the direction that the Americans are coming from. The Gewehr 43. Right, so now let's listen to an American equivalent. Let's listen to the M1 carbine. Now, unfortunately, the Germans, they have the Carabiner 98, don't they? Or the Car 98, the bolt-action rifle <laughs> for their uh, normal infantry. So let's listen to this. And again, listen to the rate of fire. The M1 Garand, the American gun, highly powerful, very, very effective. If you're a German and you hear these, you want to be behind co cover. Right, now we're onto the SMGs. So we'll start off with the American Thompson SMG. Listen out for the pitch of the gun and the fire rate.
Remember, keep those eyes closed. So after the Tommy gun, let's then listen to the MP40, the kind of German equivalent, highly effective submachine gun, this one, highly effective, love this gun. So the German MP40. Okay, and let's finish off with the American M3 Grease Gun SMG. Right, so there we go. So that's all the guns we're going to cover in this video. I think you can agree that some of them are really distinctive. Um, the difference between the German uh, MG34 LMG and the Browning uh, LMG, you can really tell those apart. Similarly with the M1 Garand, it has that distinctive pitch. Um, and then the slow fire rate of the uh, K98 on the German side, it's, it's, it's fairly easy to, to distinguish between those. Uh, you'll notice that I haven't bothered covering the sniper rifles and uh, that's really because you tend to sniper rifles tend to be firing at you from further away um, and you can kind of tell which way if you're not dead you can tell which way they're coming from by doing a bit of triangulation so when you hear the gunshot just kind of move your player's head a little bit and then you'll get the stereo vision of your stereo headset will then give you a good idea where it's going on obviously the developers will add more guns to the game as we go along and when the eastern front comes to hell let loose on console i'll be doing more then as well but hopefully this video has been useful maybe might be worth watching it every now and again just to sharpen up those ears and the next time you're crawling through the undergrowth in hell let loose under fire and you've got friendlies around you and you're thinking where the where the hell are these enemies coming from just maybe close your eyes for a second and just listen to the pitch and the fire rate of the guns. And remember, you can also bear in mind the reload time as well, because that's been included in these videos as well. Just listen out, and then maybe that will give you a clue, and you think, actually, that sounds, that, that sounds like an MP40 coming from over there. They've got behind us, they've flanked us. That, that's definitely an MP40, or that was an STG44, or, oh my God, we better keep our heads down, that's, that's an mg34 that i can hear that's blasting down the road so there we go hopefully that's been useful if it has been hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and if you haven't already open your eyes thank you very much and i'll see you again soon